Hello! Alright, so this is going to be the code section of um, my video. So today I'm going to show you uh, what codes I use for um, to make this picture a link and also how to put um, your picture to the side of your text. Um, also, I'm going to go over some of the basic codes um, just for changing fonts and um, things like that. So, all right, so the first thing that we're going to start with, a lot of people have asked, like I said in my last video, my introduction, a lot of people have wanted to know what this, um, what this code is. So, let me go ahead and show you. Um, I do use a lot of codes. Um, so, alright. So this right here is the code that you use. Um, now you place that in front of the, of the text that you want. Um, and, uh, that's what you do there. Um, and then it will put the picture there. Um, we just explain how to use this code. The image source here, uh, is that, that gets pasted into into these, in between these. Um, basically what it is, is if the, if you right click on a picture, and you, you go down here and it says copy image URL, that's what you want. And that's what goes into here. Um, later on also I'll be talking about photo bucket and that'll probably be a completely separate video. Um, but, uh, photo bucket makes it really, really easy to do this, to get this URL, so you don't have to worry about trying to right-click and remembering to do that and things like that. But anyway, that's what goes in here. This is your picture URL, um, and so that's what you want is the image source. And here is where you can change the width. Um, you can you can make the picture bigger or smaller, just depending on what you want the width to be. Um, it's just however you want it to fit with your text. Also here. You can choose if you want it on the right side or the left, which that actually took me a little bit to figure out. So that's what you do. Um, I like to use this HR. That, what that means, if you, if you plug that in, that gives you this line right here. Um, right there. That gives you that one. Um, that's just it's HR. Um, right there. I like to put that in, on the, top and bottom of my text to kind of give it a more professional look. Uh, it just it just looks a lot better in my mind. You don't have to do that. That is just what I like to do. Um, now if you want it, if you do want to use that, you want it to be underneath this uh, this code right here. Uh, because otherwise the line will be on top of your picture, not right on top of your text. Also, here you can see I have space here. Um, I put that there to make it fit better. Uh, since the picture was a little bit longer than the text I had, I wanted the text to be kind of centered. Um, here, let me show you what I mean. Um, I wanted it to be centered, so I had to put some space here. See how this is, this is kind of centered here. So I had to put some space here. Then also, if you do want to put more, you will need spaces here. If you want to, like, what I do here, you will need to put, I don't have spaces here because this picture kind of goes up here, but if you want more text underneath this, so, for instance, like this, this, this is all space. I had to put in all of these spaces so that, that way this area right here wouldn't be up here. Um, and so, here, let me show you how that looks. That looks like this. So here is the other account section that I have. You see all that space? All that space makes sure that this does not uh, look bad. Because you want it to look nice. If you're going to all this trouble to put code then you want it to look nice. So that's that code. I will have that in the link in in the in the description for you so that way you can copy and paste. Um, the there are some basic uh, coding things. I know DA has stuff, but I mean, sometimes it's kind of hard to understand. But anyway, let me just go over some of, some of those, some of the ones that I use in this. 
All right, so the first basic one is 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 this right here. Um, div align equals quotation mark center quotation mark and then you end it. Um, that basically makes everything underneath that until you you type in um, this section with a slash mark in front of it to stop it means that all of your text is going to be centered. A lot of you probably already know this, but this is a coding video, so this is just kind of basics and then what I do as well. So um, you can do this for if you want it left, right, center. Um, I usually do center just because I like how that looks better. All right, so that gets all of this centered. Now, this, of course, is I use sub. I use the sub. Um, you can also use small. Small is another one that works very well. Um, and that will make your text smaller. I like how it looks like this with my pictures. That's just my personal preference. You do not have to do it like that. It is all up to you. Um, I don't know how many people know there, there is, there are some basic sizing things when it comes to making text. So here you, again, you can see I have the div line, I have the HR, the line at the top. Um, then this right here, H3, they have H3 and then they have H2 and, um, H1. Um, H3, H1 is the biggest, just if you want to just type in something really simple, H1 is the biggest that you can get if you want to type in something simple. H2 is smaller, H3 is even smaller, but it's still larger than your normal text. H4 and then down, I think it's H4 through H6, I think, um, it makes your text smaller instead of larger than it is normally, just default. Um, so here I've used H3 to get it to this size. That's what size H3 is. Um, but here, let me show you. I do have some very specific sizing. If you don't like the sizing that H1, H2, or H3 gives you, there are some more precise ways of getting the size that you want. Here, for example, um, this is this is how you get a different size. Right here is the code. Um, font face equals, and you want two quotation marks, a space, and then you want the word size equals quotation mark, and then you can type in um, a number. I haven't been able to get it to go over the number 10. So if you can get it to go over the number 10 and actually get bigger, please let me know. But I haven't been able to get it to go over the number 10. But it does give you a nice range. It, it just depends on what you're looking for. So that's the code right there if you want to get a very specific font size. Um, now, if you want to change font, here is an easy way. Now, you need to have the font installed on your computer. So font face equals, this is one of the fonts that I have installed on my computer. There are tons of different fonts if you want to go and look for them. You can look for uh, free fonts to download on the internet. You can just Google it. This is what you use. You can type in, in the quotation marks, you can type in, um, I mean, I, you know, Times New Roman, Garamond, Courier New, uh, any font that you want, as long as it is installed on your computer there. Also, when you are done, when you, when you have the words that you want, you want to do, you need to do two. One, uh, to, one flash font to stop the size of that font and another slash font to size to stop the, uh, the, the, the font that you have changed those words to. Otherwise, that will continue throughout the rest of that section, and it probably won't look very good. Now, I'm going to show you how to turn a picture into a link. Um, it's a bit more complicated. It took me a lot of research to figure it out, but it is worth it. So, all right. So here, let me let me select the, um, the thing, because I have a lot. That's back here. All right. This, from this point to this point, that whole entire selected section is the code. Um, now, this first part is a ref in the, in the quotation marks there. Whatever you want the, to go to, when you click that picture, that is what you put here. So here in the first section is the link that you want to go to when you click that picture. 
then the second, the image source, that is the picture URL. That is what you want to, that's again, you right click, you copy image URL. Now, that code right there will give you um, this picture where you click it and it will go to this journal. That's what I have this, this particular picture linked to is this journal. Um, so that is, I, I believe that's all the codes that I really use. All right, so that is all I have for coding right now. If you have any questions, if there are any specific codes you want to know about, please let me know. Leave a comment here. Leave a comment on my DA. Um, whatever you want to do, I will look it up. I will research it for you. I will figure it out if I can, um, and I will make a video about it, or I will just add it to a future video. Um, so thank you all for tuning in, and stay tuned for the next one.